welcome everyone to my channel and today we have a very nice polynomial equation and it is of third degree polynomial equation now there is something i want you to get from this uh, question we have here to every polynomial equation you have the power of the polynomial shows the numbers of root you are to serve for in that question for example in this polynomial equation we have a third other polynomial equation. So it shows that we have to solve for three roots from this polynomial equation. But here we are asked to find only the real root to this polynomial equation. So let's start by putting down our equation solution. Let's take our solution. Okay, so we take our solution. But before we go into this class, if you're new to this class, this is online math TV. We will learn mathematics every day. If you're new here, kindly subscribe and not forget to share and also hit the like button. Okay, all right. So we put down our question. The question we see is here we have m to the power of three plus m equal to three fifty. Okay. Number one thing we're going to do here is simple. We move this constant term to the left hand side of the equation. So this return gives us m to the power of 3 plus m the minus 350 equal to 0. The left hand side we are left with 0. Okay. Now we look at this expression. Okay. Now this is how we solve polynomial equation of this kind. Here we have m to the power of 3. So we think of bringing out a number raised to power 3. And we will subtract that answer from the whole number here, the whole figure here. It will give us that same number. Okay. So if we take 3, 4, 5, 6, that will work out. But if we check 7, it will work out. In other words, 7 to the power of 3 will give us 3. 4, 3. And if we subtract 3, 4, 3 from 350, that will give us 7. So, here we cannot rewrite this 350 as your m to the power of 3 plus m minus 3, 4, 3 minus 7 equal to 0. Okay. Because minus 3, 4, 3, minus 7 will give us 350. Good. Now, from here, what do we do next? Yeah, because we decided to get a number that when raised to power 3, we give us uh, 3, 4, 3. Then we can now rewrite this 3, 4, 3 as your m to the power of 3 plus m minus 7 to the power of 3 minus 7 equal to 0. Good. Now from here we are having m to the power of 3 and we are having 7 to the power of 3. Here we have the power of m here is 1 and the power of 7 here is 1. So let's bring terms that are having same power together. So here we are going to give us here m to the power of 3 minus 7 to the power of 3 there plus our m minus 7 equal to 0. Good. Now, if I decide to put this in bracket, I put this in bracket, this has not really changed the game. Okay, so we go again. If we look at this, here we are having an algebraic identity playing out here. Record the identity which says that if you have x to the power of 3 minus y to the power of 3, this is equal to your x minus y close bracket bracket open your x to the power of 2 plus x y plus y squared close bracket now if we apply this algebraic identity to what we have here because we're having m to the power of 3 minus 7 to the power of 3 which is similar to what we have here now so if we applied this algebraic identity to this expression here we're going to have our expression to be current so this we now implies that your m 
minus 7 close bracket bracket m squared plus 7 m plus 7 to the power of 2 close bracket plus what we have in here so bracket m minus 7 close bracket or equal to 0 very easy good we have having m minus 7 here and we have having m minus 7 here so we can factor out m minus 7 from this expression if we do that we're going to have here m minus 7 close bracket bracket uh, bracket here we are left with your m to the power of 2 plus 7m plus 7 square will give us 49 okay on this other side we are left with 1 so plus 1 close bracket equal to 0 the game is playing out right now here we're having this multiply this equal to 0 so remember the expression which says that if we have a times b equal to 0 this implies that we're having a equal to 0 or b equal to 0. This is what we call the zero product rule. So if we succumb to this rule, then we're going to have this expression to be our m minus 7 equal to 0 or your m to the power of 2 plus 7m plus 49 plus 1. Okay, let's put this bracket is equal to zero. Okay, now case one will give us seven because we send this seven to this other side of the equation. So we're going to have here m is equal to seven. This is the first root to our equation. Now, like I told you, because we're having the power of our, our polynomial equation to be three, so we are looking for three root we are expected to get three root to this polynomial equation we've gotten one of it here already so we are expected to get two and if you look at this other side of it this is a quadratic equation so we are expected to get two root from this quadratic equation but mind you will ask to find only the real root to this polynomial equation okay so let's use our discriminant factor to get if this second expression will give us real root or imaginary root so let's check from here now we have an equation here to be your m to the power of 2 plus 7 m plus 50 equal to 0 good using the discriminant factor so we have this equal to your b squared minus 4 a c this is equal to what is our b our b is 7 so we have 7 squared minus 4 into our a is 1 the coefficient of m squared which is 1 and our c is the constant of 50 so we have 50 here this will give us 49 minus 4 times 1 times 50 will give us 200 so if you subtract this this will give us minus or 151 in other words the second case which is case 2 is going to give us imaginary root so the two roots from case 2 are imaginary root so we discard that and take only the first root which is m equal to 7 all right but here let's check if the first root which is the real root is correct according to our polynomial equation so from here let's check check we put down our equation which is m to the power of 3 plus m equal to 350 so wherever we see um m we put down 7 in place of m okay because we'll solve our m we say when m when m is equal to 7 then we put down here we have 7 to the power of 3 this implies 7 to the power of 3 plus 7 equals to 350 
7 to the power of 3 will give us 3, 4, 3. Plus 7, equal to 350. All right. Now, 343 plus 7 will give us 350, which is equal to your 350. So, this shows that the answer M equals to 7 is correct because it has satisfied our polynomial equation. All right. So, this marks the end of this polynomial equation. To our new viewers, we say you're welcome and do not forget to subscribe because at Online Maths TV, we drop new videos all the time for our learning, for our fun, to keep our brains active. Okay. To our returning viewers, we say we love you, we love you, we love you, we love you so much. We're proud of you because you've really done a great work as far as this channel is concerned. And that work which you've done has kept us going on and on. We love you so much. Bye and God bless you.